Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be working on another beginner friendly tumbler. This one is the pink and purple unicorn ombre. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a prepped and painted base and this is a 20 ounce skinny. First I'm going to start out with Dazed from Peachy Olive Glitters and we're going to cover the bottom rim and then at close to a 90 degree angle we're going to tilt the tumbler and let it flow or cascade down the cup and making sure that it's going to be cascading lighter as it gets closer to the middle of the cup but a little bit more heavy-handed while we're at the base of the cup then we're going to go in with wednesdays from peachy olive glitters and we're going to fade the opposite way of the purple and I'm going to come back in with Barney from Peachy Olive Glitters to fill in any of that purple. It's kind of a medium chunky mix, so we don't get full coverage on the paint. So we want to go back in with a fine color. I'm going to put that on my rack and let the epoxy cure. And once that's cured, I'm going to go in directly with my epoxy. I'm using Flint Sisters Fast Setting Epoxy. And it took about four hours for it to fully cure. I just let this sit for the afternoon and then I came back in and gave it a second coat and after that second coat was dry I was sure to sand the bottom rim because it's a medium chunky it's a little bit pokier than normal so I sanded that down good making sure to focus on the rim that there were no pokey bits I used rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to wipe off any of that epoxy dust and then I cut out these elements. The total size of the unicorn is three and a half inches. And I sell quite a few of these, so I keep all of the elements on hand just to be able to use. At my leisure, I don't have to go and cut anything out. So I always start with the horn of the unicorn. I don't know if that's the real, is the horn, is that what it's called? I don't even know. Anyway, so I always start with that. And then I go into the ears both the inner and the outer, and then I'm gonna go in with the eyelashes. And you'll notice once you layer these flowers on top of one another, that you do see the lines from underneath the vinyl, like on the vinyl that's in the forefront. But once you epoxy over it, the lines completely disappear. So don't be worried. Don't feel like you have to do a coat of epoxy between them. It does disappear. I don't know how it's like magic. <laughs> I'm baffled every time, but it looks fine. So um, go ahead and keep going with it. And we are going to um, get all of these elements laid on. Now, when I go in with the gold stars on the sides of the eyelashes, I just make sure to put them in the same direction as the other ones. So they don't look wonky. Once all of the vinyls laid down where I want it, I'm just going to go in and remove anything that is overlapping so you could see where the black portion of the um, ear was kind of showing through the center portion of the floral. So I just made sure to cut that space out of there. Once everything is in place, if my customer asks for a customization, I'm going to do that at this point. So I'm just gonna take the center of the eyelashes, gonna go straight down and put the name. I cut the name out at three and a half inches as well on a purple holographic or a purple opal uh, from Tech Wrap Craft. And we're gonna get that applied. Once all of the vinyl work is done, we are going to put a coat of polycrylic on the vinyl portion just to make sure all of the layers of the vinyl stay in place, nothing lifts under that epoxy. As I always mention when I work with a uh, opal or holographic or metallic vinyl, it is notorious for lifting under epoxy. So I always make sure to do my due diligence, go in and coat that so nothing lifts up and causes headaches once we get the epoxy coated. So after that dries for about 30 minutes or till it's dry to the touch, we're gonna go in with a coat of Flynn Sisters Regular Setting Epoxy. This one took three coats. I did a pretty good sanding job on the second coat of the epoxy. So it didn't take too much. Everything was pretty smooth and 
We're going to use about 30 ml of the regular setting on 30 ounce and then about 25 maybe on the 20 ounce to the right. After the epoxy is completely smooth, I'm gonna go over it with my torch to pop any air bubbles or micro bubbles that are in that top coat of epoxy, paying special attention to the holographic vinyl if you decide to use that on your tumbler. Uh, with the Flynn Sisters epoxy, it is really crystal clear, so there's not a lot of micro bubbles. I just like to be proactive. And after that spins overnight, these cups are completely finished. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. Hit that bell button for notifications on future tutorials, and I will see you guys next weekend.